In the previous tracking and recording lessons, we did our first recording. In this lesson, we will have a look at how you can correct mistakes as you record the script. And mistakes will happen, and when they do, there are several ways that you can approach it. We will begin by looking at how you can do a punch-in recording. When he was 15, Sadakas was sewing a button on. There's a mistake in the narration right here, so we need to re-record. But we don't want to record everything again, just the last bit, just before the mistake. What we're going to do is called a punch-in recording. What will happen is that we hear the last few seconds of the previous recording, and the recording will then continue. For Hindenburg to be in punch-in mode, then this little icon needs to be on. You can command or control click on the icon to toggle it on or off. In the preference menu under interface, you can locate the settings. Here, you can set the pre-roll time. And now back to the recording. So, the first thing to do is set the playhead at the point of interest. Pay attention to the cursor. It needs to be an eye beam for us to move the playhead. He points to a thin white line on his right hand. Let's play back the audio and get an idea of where we would like to do the punch in. When he was 15, Sadakas was sewing a button on. This is a good place to continue reading. Now that the playhead is in place, we're ready to record. You'll first hear a few seconds of the previous recording just to give you a little heads up and then right the actual hand. recording will begin. When he was 15, Sadaka was sewing a button on some fabric, and he stuck his finger with a long needle. We will look further at correcting recording mistakes in the following lesson. Please like and subscribe to this channel.